If you're looking to conduct live sessions like a Q&A session or an interactive workshop within your Kajabi course, this video is for you. Hey, it's Arit here with Asatino Media, and on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add a live session into your course. So let's get right into it. You can see here, I'm already logged into my Kajabi dashboard, and you wanna go to products and then courses. If you already have an existing course set up and you wanna go in there and create a live session, whether that's for a Q&A or for a specific class within that course, then you would select, you would click into that course from here. But if you don't already have that set up, you are going to need to create a course first. So it's pretty easy, just click on new course and follow the prompts to just get that set up and then come back to this piece right here. Now, the first thing we wanna do is go into the course, click on these three dots and select edit details. Now it's gonna take you to the settings part of your course and you're gonna scroll down a bit to this part here where it says live rooms, go create live sessions with a title and description. So what we need to do here is just toggle this button right here. And just keep in mind, it says that live sessions are limited to 200 people. So just keep that in mind. And we're gonna fill this out. So you see here it says premium video. This essentially, if you check this, it's going to do its best to stream in high definition video so that those can then become good quality recordings for your course. This is really cool because if you know you are using these live sessions as a way to create your course on the go, because a lot of people do that, they do the live sessions so that there's engagement, you get feedback directly from the students and you can use those sessions as, as pre-recordings for the course in the future. So I recommend checking this box if you're going to be keeping those live recordings. Um, but if it's just live, then it doesn't necessarily matter. It's up to you if you want to toggle that on. So what we're going to do is give it a title, a session description, and then a schedule here. So I'm going to quickly fill this out to show you an example. All right. So here is an example that I've just filled out. Now you see the section here, recordings. Choose how you would like your recordings to be handled after each live session. So if you're gonna to be toggling this on, what happens is right away after the live session has ended, it's going to upload that as a lesson for you into your course. And that's really cool because typically you'd have to download the recording and then go yourself and upload it separately, but it will automatically do this for you if you want this. So if you just want to do it on the fly and you don't want that, so you would leave it off. And if you toggle it on, you can also indicate whether or not you want a notification to be sent out to students after it's been uploaded as a recording in the course. But I'm going to just leave that off for now. And then I'm going to hit save. So you just completed step number one, which is to add the setting of live video to your course. Step number two is to now go and start your live session when it comes time to doing that. So I'll show you where to go to do that. You'll go to where it says outline, which is where your course curriculum is listed. And at the very top, you'll see your live session details are at the top here. So it basically has all the information we just inputted. And when you're ready to go live, all you do is just hit the go live button and it will ask you, do you want to notify your members or not? I am not going to notify the members of this course. So we're going to say uh, no, just go live. But if you do want to notify them and you are actually going live, then you would hit yes, notify. And now you've entered step three, which is to customize your live session settings. So you can see here, it's going to ask you to allow access. Now I'm using my camera right now and mic, so I don't want to turn it on, but you would essentially click on allow and then you can choose your camera and microphone. You can also change your name on here, your settings, and then it's gonna take you into the live room. And here's just a quick photo of what it looks like when you're in the live room. It's basically going to show, if you have your camera turned on, it will actually show you on the screen, but since the camera's turned off in this scenario, um, it'll just show your initials of your name, 
But here is where you can customize, you know, you can turn your mic on or off, you can share the screen, you can record, you can do reactions, you can have a chat room. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do in here for the live course and you don't need Zoom, which is great. It just saves the time of integrating another third party tool or software to try to make all of this work. Now, a couple of things. Once you're done the live session, the live session has ended, you're gonna receive an email that looks like this, that basically has the title of the recording, the date, time, the and, the, and a button to download the recording as well and access it or to go directly to the lesson. So you can download the recording directly from this email or if it's already, if you've checked that box in terms of having Kajabi automatically upload it to your, uh, to your course outline, then it's already ready there for you. And like I said, you can create an entire course this way just by doing live sessions and actually getting real-time feedback from your students and engagement to see how your curriculum and your content is landing with them. So that's how you add a live session to your Kajabi course without using Zoom. Let me know if you need help with any of this. I've designed and developed tons of Kajabi sites, membership, course membership sites for our clients. So if you need some extra help in putting this together, my contact information is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.